of your technologies, the global leader in isostatic processing, your sheet metal forming with FlexForm by Avure Technologies. Here we have a punch tool, and I want to show you the difference between a low pressure and a high pressure. The pressure we are going to use here is 340 bars and 1,000 bars. The tool itself has a shrink flange and a stretch flange. And I start up the first pressing, we're doing a part with a, a small flange height. After that, I'm going to show you how to increase the flange height with something that we call a blank holder. The blank material we are going to use here is a aluminum alloy 2024, and it, the temper is old condition. Thickness on the blank is 1.2 millimeter. I use uh, throw pads, orange throw pads of 90 Shore A. And for protection, I'm using two throw pads because the tool is quite high. And uh, then we start a cycle, the press cycle. And now we have done a press cycle with 1000 bar. And what you can see here now is the form part. And uh, we have the shrink flange and we have the stretch flange on it. I will take the plastic film away now because this is a protection film that you have on 2024 just to protect the Alclad covering sheet. You can see really how smooth the surface is after the pressing. And if we compare this part now with the, the part that we have used 340 bars, you can see the difference between the sharpness, especially in the, the juggle area here, the jogol area across the top surface of the tool here is not complete as you see now on the 340 bar part. But on the 1000 bar part you can see the difference. It's uh, very sharp and you can see the contour, it follows the, the tool very well. So if I want to do another test now and increase the flange height on the shrink flange here, then you have to as to say, control the blank material with the blank holder. Otherwise, you will have wrinkles on the shrink flange itself. So that's why I will dock a blank holder now to the tool itself. Here we have the blank holder itself. The blank holder is made of hardwood. And that is quite perfect for aluminum because you don't have so much friction between the blank holder and the blank itself if, if you are using a hardwood material in the blank holder. I have to cover the sides of the tool itself, otherwise the rubber will go in under the blank and you will not have a, a, a part that is formed properly. So that's why we'll cover the sides like this between the blank holder and the tool itself. To control the friction between the blank and the blank holder, I have to use some grease. And this is a mineral grease that we're using for this purpose. I uh, even out the grease on top of the blank holder surface and on the slope as well. Down into the bottom, 
of the groove here. Otherwise I can have pockets of grease and it should be an even surface, an even amount of grease over the blank hole itself. You can also use plastic film instead of grease or you can use both plastic and grease. I have the plastic film on top of the blank. So I have both plastic film and I have grease. The blank material is the same as before, 2024, O condition, thickness is 1.2 millimeter. And you can see you have cover with plastic film on top of the blank here. So I will let the plastic film be on both sides on the blank. I will use the same pressure. We're using 1000 bar pressure as before. Yes, then we start the press cycle. So now we have done a press cycle with 1000 bar. Remove the positioning pins for, for the blank itself. Here you can see the foam part. Now you can see the difference in flame height. So what I actually did now was that I control the blank when it flows down into the gutter between the blank holder and the tool itself. And when I control the blank, I can see that I don't have any wrinkles on this surface, on the shrink flange itself. So what you can see now is that we have increased the flange height nearly three times on this part with the blank holder. In this case, you can see as well that the tool itself cuts the blank in the end of the press cycle. So we have a cutting edge down here in the bottom of the tool itself. So we start up with a blank that is oversized on top of the blank holder from the beginning but then it falls down between the tool and the blank hole itself, down into the gutter. And in the last moment, the blank will be cut and you have a finished part. So you can see the part itself and the scrap piece that would be in the bottom of the tool. Of your technologies, the global leader in isostatic processing.